Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on the floor again today because I am sharing another Petty With Me video. I haven't painted my toes since the last time that I shared a Petty With Me video and it was that beautiful deep red autumn color. We are officially like in the full swing of the autumn winter season. It's actually flurrying outside my window as I film this. So my toes are basically in hibernation until spring at this point. No one's really gonna be seeing them, so I can get a little more creative with my pedicures. Today I'm going to do something very different than what I normally do, but I'm excited about it. It's gonna bring a little sparkle to my life. If you wanna paint your toes along with me or just grab a coffee and chill out and watch this video, I hope this gives you a little inspo for your next petty. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here's what we are working with. You can tell that this pedicure has definitely grown out a little bit. Some of the polish has chipped and some of the nails have actually chipped. You can see the big toe on my right foot took quite a hard hit. I nicked it on the couch when I was moving it for our Halloween party. So I'm really excited to be completely removing this pedicure and starting fresh today. So I'm going to take 100% acetone. Honestly, I am about to give up acetone. Since filming this, I have started using non-acetone remover for my regular man manicures and pedicures. It's just healthier for the nail. But for this video, I did use the acetone. I do think it works a little better when removing darker polishes. The best way to remove a darker polish is to just saturate a cotton ball, apply it to the nail, hold it in place for a few seconds, and then gently rub away the color. You don't want to take a cotton ball and kind of like mush it around your nail because that's going to result in that red color ending up all over your toes, all in your nail beds, all over your cuticles, and it's just super messy. So I find this to be the easiest way to remove dark colors. All right, once all of the color has been removed, we're gonna go ahead and start trimming and shaping the toes. These toes have grown out quite a bit, so they do need a good trim today. I'm just taking my stainless steel nail clipper and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the broken toe. I'm gonna do my best to try and even it out and then go ahead and clip the rest of the overgrown nails. Let's get rid of these clippings and go ahead and start filing the toenails. I'm going to take my Revlon file. I like it because it's pretty tiny and slim. It's easy to work with on the toes and smooth out the top portion of the nail and then slightly round each corner. If my nails are too like angular on the sides or too much of a 90 degree angle, they are more likely to chip and break. So I like to round them up just a little bit. I'm going to go through each toe and do just that. Now that all the nails have been shaped and filed, I'm going to go back through with a cotton ball soaked in acetone and remove any remaining nail polish that may still be lingering on the toes. For any stubborn polish, I'm going to just take my nail file and try to buff it out um, before going back over with the cotton ball. Now that all of the polish is officially removed, it is time to start painting. So I'm gonna pop my toes into a little toe separator so that I don't make a mess while I'm painting. And I'm going to take the Sally Hansen No More Stain Spray on Base Coat. I have used this in every single pedicure video I have shared. And if you don't have it yet, you need it. I really wouldn't recommend it for manicures. I mean, to be fair, I haven't used it for any manicures, but it is a little messy. It's kind of hard to control, which is why I don't mind using it on the toes. I like to put a tissue over my toes, spray each nail, and then quickly clean up around the edges with the tissue. When the base coat does dry on the skin, it does not leave it sticky or make a mess. It kind of disappears. Can't vouch for it on the nails, but do love it for the toes. All right, it is time to start painting and I am so excited for this polish combo. I'm gonna be doing a full glitter pedicure today using the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Matte Polish in the shade Rose Flush and a KBS Shimmer Polish in the color So Flamous. So I'm gonna start by putting a thin coat of the Sally Hansen Polish on each toenail. It's gonna help the glitter really pop and I'm just gonna clean up with my thumbnails as I go. That
that matte polish is so beautiful. I'm going to let it dry a second and then I'm going to go in with the KBS Shimmer in So Flamous. This is honestly, I think my favorite glitter shimmer polish of all time. It is just so thick. There's like no sparsity in it. Is that a word? Sparsity? <laughs> There's really no blank spaces. The glitter is pretty much full coverage. I don't really need a base coat um, of another color underneath to make it pop, but I do like to add a little bit. So I'm just going to go right ahead and add a coat of this to each toenail. I think I'm going to do two coats of glitter, but we're going to start with one. I mean, look at that. It's literally so, so beautiful. Once all of the color has been applied, I'm going to take the Nail Aid One Minute Artificials Top Coat. I did use this in a recent manicure video, but I didn't like it because it kind of tinted the polish. It had like a slight pink hue to it. But I'm going to use it for today's pedicure because I think that slight pink overlay might actually complement the polish well. So I'm going to apply a thin coat of this to all of my toenails, uh, let them dry for a quick second, and just obsessed over how amazing they look. I cannot get over this pedicure. Um, I'm going to pull out the toe separators and then take the Sally Hansen vitamin E cuticle oil and apply a generous amount to each toe as well to finish the pedi. And that is it. I am just so in love with this color. I rarely do anything crazy or different or sparkly on my toes but for some reason i was just really drawn to this polish this week so i'm gonna rock this for as long as it'll last usually glitter polishes last way longer than normal polishes for me and i'm not mad about it i'm gonna link everything that i used in this video below i hope you enjoyed this petty with me if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and i will get back to you please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and feel free to peek around my channel. I have a ton of other manicure videos, pedicure videos using both gel and regular polishes. Um, so if you're really into nails like I am, go ahead and explore it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.